Hi guys, it's Lexi. I hope you're all doing well. Today I have a melting basket for the month of September. So this melting basket, I was really inspired by all of the farms in upstate New York during the fall season. A lot of the farms around here will open up during the fall to do like fall specific themed things. So either like you pick pumpkin patches, some of them have like apple orchards where you can pick some of your own apples. A lot of them will have like hot cider donuts that they make right there. Really, really excited. I have some fun like animal inspired wax here that would be, you know, good for like the petting zoos that they have in the, at the farms. And I have a lot of like cider scents and uh, pumpkin cider donuts and things like that. So really excited i hope you guys enjoy this melting basket and i'm going to start first with the animal inspired scents here and fortunately i have a lot surprisingly i have a lot of like animal shaped wax or like animal names so um i was like okay got lucky with that but a lot of these are birdies making sense so i'm going to start with that and this first one is the most adorable little like horse and it's in the name maybe she's barn with it um, and then it's pumpkin pecan waffles, butterscotch maple cream, and salted pretzel milkshake. This is not only like the perfect you know, shape and little, you know, animal for the melting basket theme, but also like what a great scent for fall. Like perfect. I think that's amazing. So this is also like layered. It smells amazing. So that is the first one here. Maybe she's barn with it from Birdie's Making Scents. Another one from Birdie's Making Sense is this little cow. And the name of this one is I Like to Move It, Move It. And it's Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Sugar and Milk, and Frosted Animal Crackers. And the tin, I have to show you guys, of this one is cow, cow print, which is so cute, right? And this little guy is just like too adorable. The little cow, I think he's so cute. And once again, layered, how adorable. And this one smells amazing i am super excited to melt this one and then the actual label itself has like a little cow on it which is just so cute i don't know if you can see that a little cow right there so cute so i'm very excited about this one as well i'm gonna try not to say that i always say that i'm not gonna say i'm super excited about everything but then i always do because i am um but this one is a little pig once again from birdie's making sense and to go along with a pink pig it's a pink tin so cute and then the bottom of the wax is pink isn't that adorable so much thought went into creating these little souffles oh and this one smells so good the name of this one is <laughs> i don't give a ham and it's sugared strawberry cookies lemon meringue and sugar cookie royale and this one oh, smells so freaking delicious i'm ooh, really excited for this one <laughs> and then the next one I have is another pig once again from birdies making sense this time it's a little piggy floating in some mud and the name of this one this is a larger um, like pie shape here how cute is he little pig floating in some mud on his back it's a little I don't want to break it but you can even see it's kind of almost like an ombre brown which is so pretty um oh, and this one smells amazing as well the name is do epic like but spelled like ep pig stuff um cherry cheesecake and boom boom type from sol de janeiro so that is this one i do see here the little arm got chopped off but he's adorable nonetheless that is oh nope we have one more here from birdies making sense this one is a little duck swimming in a pond little duck in a pond and the name for this one is no ducking way <laughs> and it's butterscotch and yellow cake and this one once again smells so good i love that so that is no ducking way from birdies making sense and i think that that is all of them that i have from birdies making sense for this melting basket um the next one i have i think we'll just talk about some rose girls next so let's see i re really packed these in here so let me see if i can pull these out i have 
um, Midnight Garden. So this one is Moonflower Nectar, Soft Rain, Raspberry, and Agave. And I thought that this one would be nice to throw in because oftentimes they'll have gardens at the farm so you can kind of explore. This one is Apple of My Eye. It is apples, bamboo stalks, vetiver, hemp seed, and oak moss. So once again, apples in fall. This one is where the blue spruce grows, which is rain, spruce, bergamot, cedarwood, and florals. I also threw in some things that were like inspired by like the woods around the farms. Cause some, when you go to these upstate like um, farms, usually they're like kind of surrounded by woods. Um, so you, not only do you smell like the fall, like apples in the air and pumpkin and like the fall bakery scents, you also do get like spruce trees, pine trees, uh, balsam, you get like those other type of wood scents. So I was like, oh, I'm going to throw those in here too. This one is, I know we're technically in fall, but this one I wanted to throw in um, just because I never got around to it. And it's not totally, we're not totally out of summer yet. So it's summer stargazing. And it's bergamot, jasmine, musk, and clothes on the line. And I got to be honest with you, I'm just like super excited to melt this one. This is one that I'm like, I want to melt that tonight. Um, this one here is by Dirt. And it's Nag Champa, Palo Santo, Vanilla, and Sandalwood. I think that one will be amazing for this time of year. This one is Rodeo. You know, if we're going to a farm, maybe there's rodeo. I don't know. Um, it's leather, amber, wood, patchouli, and vanilla. This is an amazing scent from Rose Girls. I melted that one. I got it in, um, what is it called? A Big Kahuna box. I never would have purchased that on my own, but I ended up loving it. And I think I've repurchased that one like twice now so far. I love that scent. This one is Don't Cal My Hippie Vibe. It's grass, cannabis flower, cal, and nag champa. And then we've got, um, of course, I could not go a farm themed melting basket without putting in Moo Moo Track from Rose Girl. So Moo Moo Track is, I don't wanna butcher this. I think it's banana cream pie, fresh picked strawberries. Um, banana cream pie, fresh picked strawberries. I know there's something else in here. Maybe like a vanilla vanilla some other kind of vanilla man i'm gonna butcher it but the scent notes are on it i think there's a vanilla or maybe a cherry in here somewhere i'm gonna have to re-remember what that is and put it in here look it up um but that is moo moo track i have a lot of that and then i think that was all for my rose girls in this basket i have um one scent here from southbound this is definitely more of a spring scent but i was like you know what I didn't get to use it this spring, so I'm going to use it right now. It's wild berry tulips. And this one is tangerine, wild red berries, fresh picked tulips, water lily, honeysuckle, and notes of musk. This one just smells like the most beautiful, like sweet floral. So I just really wanted to use that one too. I'm going to use that one tonight also. Um, so yeah, just some of these, I was just like, oh, I never got to use it this summer or this spring, I guess, past this last year. And I'm like, I want to make sure I put them in this basket so I can enjoy them at least a little bit before winter is here. And soon enough, it will be here. So anyway, I have a loaf here, a chopped up loaf in white cow. And white cow is from Salt Mountain Melts. It is vanilla shake, vanilla wafers, and maraschino cherry. And I am just realizing now, I did not include pink cow, but I'm going to throw pink cow in here because she did just create pink cow, which is this same scent, but instead of cherry, it's strawberry. So. I had that in my last melting basket. I'm gonna I'm gonna add it into this melting basket as well, so I can have both of the cows. Um, but white cow, so delicious. Um, and I said in my I don't know if you saw my last empties video. I'm like, what was it called? Empties video. I talked about pink cow, and I talked about how on warm I didn't let it cure, but I just melted it right away, and it was predominantly the strawberry and not a lot of the vanilla. But now that it sat and cured more. I'm gonna wanna see if it's um, cured enough where the vanilla note comes out like it does in the white cow. So definitely gonna wanna melt that this month. I have four scents here from Destination Wax. Um, this one is Grass Stain, one of my all time favorite scents from Destination Wax. It is the elite grass scent from any vendor wax I've ever found. Like a lot of vendor wax grass scents smell like dry, 
like almost dying grass, like doesn't smell good. This to me smells like wet, dewy, fresh green grass, like the best, the best version of grass ever. And it's sweet, it's so sweet. So the notes say single note of fresh green grass. And I figured that would be perfect. This one here is Napa Valley Sunset and it is figs, fig leaf, pear, and musk. And I feel like the pear in this definitely to me kind of smells a little fall so i just wanted to include this one i have bartlett pear another pear scent for fall this is juicy pear tart green apples and fresh pear nectar this is a white barn dupe and then finally i have bonsai and bonsai is fresh strong green soapy scent great for freshening up a bathroom pumpkin butterscotch chip waffles from um the bathing garden and this is so pretty so it smells amazing. It looks beautiful. Super excited. I've got two here from K Scented Melts. The first one is Pumpkin Sugar Donuts, and this is the Bath and Body Works dupe scent. It is pumpkin donuts rolled in sugar and spice. I love this scent. I actually realized how much I enjoyed it last fall, so excited to melt some of that this fall. This one is Oak Oak Barrel Cider, and once again, I realized how much I love the scent last fall. Um, because of a Salt Mountain Melt scent here that I'll talk about in a second. Um, but I realized I liked it so much that I wanted to try it in the single fragrance oil here that was available from K's. And it is classic cider of apples and spice with notes of warm oak. The scent is absolutely phenomenal. I am so excited about this. I have one scent here in a um, Yankee Candle Centerpiece Warmer Cup. And this one is in the scent Dried Lavender and Oak. I'm not a fan of lavender. This is the one of the only lavender scents that I truly love. And it doesn't really smell like lavender, like soapy herb. Um, I shouldn't say herbal, but like soapy powdery lavender that a lot of lavenders do for me. This one just smells like woodsy, like fresh, dried, dried lavender. But I just, I love it so good. Love that one. And the oak is, I think, the strongest thing in that. So really, really good. I have two here from Sensationals. One's a little guy and the little guy is in Farmhouse Cookies. So of course it is absolutely delicious, it says. So this smells like apple cookies. Yeah, like, like, like a delicious, like warm, gooey, caramely apple cookie scent. So good. And then this one is Pumpkin Apple Muffins. This one is, I feel like, one of the most popular fall scents, I feel like, from um, Sensationals. And this one is, it just says blissful, but it smells like a real muffin, like a pumpkin apple muffin. It's so good. I have quite a few here from Scentsy, and these are, I think, pretty much all fall inspired. So we've got Bright Cider Life. That one is in my club. Apple S'mores. Apple Press. Johnny Apple Seed and Orchard Apple and Spice. And I just found a random clamshell when I lifted up that box. Um, hiding underneath, we have banana pumpkin bread from Better Homes and Gardens. So this one is going in there as well. Let me talk about the Salt Mountain Melts Campfire Cider Scent. This is the one that I realized how much I enjoyed the Oak Barrel Cider Note in. It is Oak Barrel Cider, Campfire Malo, and Palo Santo, and this scent is incredible. It did not come back this fall season, and I'm pretty sure it just won't now, which really stinks, um, but I don't think this probably will come back because chances are she wouldn't bring this one back in the next pre-order because I believe the next pre-order after the one that she's currently working on now will be Christmas, like winter-inspired scents. But if I melt this one and I love it as much on warm as I do on cold, I might have to like beg because this one is so good, you guys. So good. Another oak cider scent we have is oak cider in woods. This one is from Teddy Bees. It is warm mold cider, cedar, oak, toasted marshmallows, vanilla, pine cones, and smoked woods. That one smells amazing. This is harvest cider and birch. This is plum, dark cherry, vanilla birch, peppered woods, and warm pomegranate cider. All the cider scents. I love when you go to the or like um, farms and they have like, they're making the cider like right there in front of you and like pressing the apples and it smells so fresh and so good. There's nothing, nothing compares to it. It's the best. 
This one is cider cookies. It is apples, cake, donuts, cinnamon, caramel, and sugar cookies. Once again, from Teddy Bees. Um, another one from Teddy Bees is sugar, chestnut, and apple butter. This one is apple butter, brown sugar, toasted chestnuts, clove, and notes of spice. I found another Birdies Making Sense, and this is like the most beautiful like little mushroom decoration wax. It is in No Morals, and uh, it is Falling Leaves, Honey Pear Cider Type, and the Perfect Autumn. Super beautiful wax. I have a scent here from Empire Alchemy in The Huntsman. And to go along with this one, I have, um, I was like, you know what? A lot of farmers also hunt and hunting is like kind of like, or fall is like when hunting season opens, I believe, right? So I was like, you know, I'm gonna throw in these for this melting basket. Um, Deer Camp from Rose Girl. So I have fresh fallen leaves, burning logs, and a touch of dirt. And I don't have notes on the Huntsman from Empire Alchemy. Um, I'll look them up and I'll put them somewhere here in this video so you guys can um, know the notes, but kind of a similar, similar vibe. Definitely, they give you that like man out in the woods kind of a scent. So, or woman out in the woods, it being out in the woods scent. Um, okay, so uh, I guess we'll talk about the other Rose Girls because I did find some more Rose Girls. I have Pumpkin Pickin', of course, from Rose Girls. This is Pumpkin Puree, Nutmeg, Pie Crust, Cinnamon, Honey Butter, and Butter Cream. And then we also have, um, oh wait, this one's not from Rose Girls. This one is from Empire Alchemy. I'm all over the place right now. Um, but this one is Autumn Cat. And Autumn Cat is actually, once again, another lavender that I really did enjoy last year. It's Southern California Winter, Crushed Sage, Hint of Smoke, Lavender, Charred Oak Barrel Cider. And I think it's that Oak Barrel Cider note that's in the other ones that I love so much. And that's the reason why I like really love that scent. But that one is very, very good. I have a Super Tarts um, bag here in Morning Walk. It is Brisk Air, Morning Dew, Fall Leaves, Warm Amber, and Dirt. Sometimes farmers end up being hunters and they sometimes end up also being lumberjacks. So I was like, you know what, I'll throw it in this basket. So I've got Lumberjack Waffles from Salt Mountain Melts. This is Cedarwood Vanilla, Palo Santo, and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. And yeah, this one smells really, really good, but it's, just, it's interesting. I'm very curious about this one. Very curious to see what I think when I melt that one. So um, one here from British Creepy Treasures. This is a custom that I made in 2022 so i really got to use this up but it, it is such a fall scent that i like couldn't melt it any other time besides fall and now fall is here so melting it again it is called spark it up it's patchouli crackling birch by the campfire and marshmallow bomb it smells really really good but just is such a fall heavy fall scent so wanted to wait for fall finally ending it on two salt mountain melt loaves i have golden dusk the scent is phenomenal phenomenal i love the scent and i feel like this one definitely does not get as much hype as it should it is an amazing scent it's bonfire bliss palo santo and leaves and this one tr like truly smells like fall in upstate new york sitting around a bonfire all of the leaves are turned they are falling off the trees you get the smoke it's not overly smoky though you get like that like sweet like kind of masculine palo santo and then you get the realistic leaves it's so good i love it yeah it's so so good what a favorite that one is so good and then another favorite that i once again don't think gets enough hype for, for um salt mountain melts this one is autumn lane it is cider lane nilla wafers and butterscotch and this one i remember i melted this one years ago um oh, this one is so good it is just like super sweet ooey gooey butterscotch caramel apple goodness it is delicious and i love the vanilla wafers in here just adds a little extra bakery but not like overwhelmingly so it's so good i love this one so that is autumn lane and that is it you guys that is the entire like i don't know like old mcdonald's fall farm maybe <laughs> i don't really know what i'm gonna call it um but some kind of like farm themed melting basket for fall i really hope you guys enjoy and um i will Keep you posted I, this will probably take me through the entire month of september so i don't know if i'll be able to get to i always try to do like a fall festival themed melting basket um maybe we'll see once i get closer to the end of september i'll see how i'm doing with my progress for this melting basket but 
I don't know. I might just end up doing just the spring circus one for next year, but we'll see. Um, I appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch. I hope you're all doing well and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.